Okay, here we are coming up on the Sebastian Inlet State Park. They have a couple sides because you have a marina side where you can go canoeing and you got some nice waterway entrances and then you have the actual camping part. So we're just going to kind of come by. I hope we don't get rained on because it's looking kind of kind of nasty off to the beach side, but the surfers are still taking advantage of it. You can see a surfer crossing the road. <laughs> Here we've got the state park. This is the inlet right here where you go rent your kayaks and canoes. We went that, this, the marina, right? And uh, that's where we rented our kayak theft this morning. What? <clears throat> that was a nice little trip. trip. Yep. And uh, you can kind of see the bridge that's coming up ahead of us. So you've got the, the beach access on the north side, and you've got the camping part on the south side. Oh, here comes the rain. Coming up on the beach access now. Yeah, we're coming up on the beach access because we're coming south right now. Coming down to A1A in search of some kind of a super store, but there is none. So make sure you bring long pants or mosquitoes. All right, so here's the Sebastian Inlet State Park right here and this is the beach side this is where you can go down the pier and go fishing or go to the beach or watch some surfers or watch some moron go swim through the rip current and <laughs> got themselves on some rocks just got to be careful because this definitely has a strong current we have this is the park right here that you can have access to if you stay at the campground you can stay for free if you do not stay at the campground, you have to pay $8 to get in there per day. And then on the other side, we have the beach, which is really nice. You can see we got the storm system come in and all the waves, but bring a boogie board, especially for kids. It's lots of fun. Little, little kids need their water wings. And here we are with the Sebastian Inlet State Park. This is where the campground is, because remember there's three sections to it. And they have lots of amenities here, which is really, really nice. Uh, the only thing is make sure you bring cash because you have to pay for them, i.e. the kayak and canoeing you have to pay for at $35 a day. Uh, they have a really neat uh, treasure museum that they advertise in their brochure, but that's uh, $2 a person, so $4 for the both of us to go in. It's well worth it. It was really interesting and neat to look at if you like to go to the museums. And they also have a fish museum that you can go to. Uh, we have yet to check that one out. We've only been here a couple days, uh, but still really interesting. So here we are coming into the park. See, we're going underneath the bridge that we just drove over not even a minute and a half ago. The two-time winner state park wave to the ranger make sure you say hi they have a, a really neat program here too that if you make reservations ahead of time you they will take you down to the beach in June and July to do a turtle patrol which is really cool because then you can see the turtles coming up the loggerheads come up and uh, lay eggs you can't come up and watch the green turtles because they're just so protected as an endangered animal even though uh, loggerheads are also endangered you're allowed to observe them lay eggs so pretty cool you just have to make reservations ahead of time and uh, bring bug spray I'm gonna say that a bunch of times during this video bring bug spray there are mosquitoes so here we are pulling into the campground area it's neat because you can go on straight and they have a, a boat dock which is really cool if you have your own boat you can go to the end family friendly there's lots of picnic tables and I uh, got a nice playground at the end they're pet friendly they allow pets they have to be stay on a leash as opposed to the Melbourne uh, Park which is not too far about uh, 15 miles you say uh, up a1a um, but they are do not allow pets and uh, Long Point also allows pets which is nice that was another video, so if you want to check out what Long Point looks like, you will have to watch video number two. And you got your little local resident storks, I guess. 
if you're watching this video and you know what those birds are, feel free to leave a comment and tell me. Because I don't know. All right, so we're coming up here on our campground. I'm not sure if Mr. Pakula is going to go down the boat ramp or not. Nope. Okay, we're going to the campground. Here's the campground. Sorry, this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video, but at least you got a good tour of the park. As you can see, these are kind of crowded spots. Here we are in our Monty. We've got a stop, spot number one, which is great because we got a great view of the inlet, which is really nice. We have a great breeze because there's lots of mosquitoes, so make sure you bring bug spray. Uh, it's really nice because you got the breeze to keep them off of you. But as you can tell, the road is very narrow and the spots are not too long. Spaced and they're far apart and they're not spaced very far apart. When you think spa state park, usually they're a, a lot roomier. But maybe because we're down here on the beach area, you know, not so much. But I guess you're uh, compromising space for this beautiful view. I don't know if you can keep seeing this as we go by the campers, but beautiful inlet. Last night we could lay in bed and hear the boats coming in and out and pretty nice and last night sat out and grilled some ribs and watched the boats go in and out and a sailboat and really nice they've kind of got their primitive area on the back of their camper area here we're getting ready to go into right we've got the primitive area if you can't hear mr pagula on the very back end there is no way we would be able to pull in here but if you have a little tent or if you have um, one of those van type campers, that would work great. Again, look at that beautiful view. Even on a nasty, yucky day like today, with all the clouds and overcast this evening, you've got all those boats out there anchored or beached, just hanging out on the sandbar. Now here we're coming upon the back side of the campground. You're not gonna see the water anymore. You're gonna get more trees and also no wind back here right. and more mosquitoes so bring some bug spray so you have see this guy here he's got his pontoon boat set up because we do have the the boat dock down here at sebastian inlet state park and here's the back side of the park Again, there's not a whole lot of sites. How many are there total? Uh, around 50. Around 50 sites total? Yes. That might be being generous because they are kind of squished in here. We got lots of little tents. These are perfect tent spots. These are little back ends. They do have some pull throughs. So if you do have a big rig, you can pull through. And they don't have any overhanging trees, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about ripping off your AC unit, which we've been worried about at some other parks. And you have a common bathroom facility if you uh, choose not to use your own in your camper. And they have laundry also. So if you've got bug spray all over your clothes and you need to wash them, you have laundry. Good to know. And then a really easy dump station because it's not full hookup it's just water and uh, AC which by the way they only have the the 30 amp not the 50 so those of us that have two AC units can't run two you can only run one it was fairly comfortable all night long so not to worry they have nice little observation areas all along here bring your quarters because they're 50 cents per view but still pretty neat. You can look out and see the see through the intercoastal and all the boats. We got a video of a stingray earlier today. There's lots of marine life. So if you happen to go boating or kayaking or even wade fishing, I'm sure you could probably catch 
some of them. There's some more boats. Oh, there's our little sailboat friend. He's back in town. He must have just gone out for a sail. It's really windy today, so that was a good day for it. Sorry, I keep getting a glimpse of the rear view mirror. We have big mirrors. Lots of speed bumps. Which is good. We're not the only ones trying to get our dog out of the steps. Oh, they have a puppy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't video that. We're gawking at a little lab puppy. Little yellow lab. Cute. Eh, here's another little puppy walking. And we got another big truck coming at us. He's not exactly little either. Big old dooley. Wow, lots of boats in here. Nice little sandbar out there. Everyone seems to, all the locals seem to go up on. It's pretty nice. I bet you can find some sand dollars and lots of hermit crabs and all that good stuff. They talked about um, you have sea turtles in here. Um, you have dolphins and, uh, and manatees. All in this area over here on this right side. So I imagine if you just sit on the rocks you'd probably be able to see some dolphins playing or manatees going by. It's pretty neat. Alright so here we are coming into the boat area. There's the dock. You have your own boat. Lots of pavilions. Yesterday they had a huge party of uh, people. Probably a hundred people between the two pavilions. Here we are again. Oh, we got a guy over here that's going to be brave enough and go windsurfing. It is definitely windy. He will have his hands full. And then of course you have the pavilions and the and the playground. You see that wind, that uh, rain coming? Oh, you got a little Hobie cat over here. Look at him. Yeah. He went sailing for the day. I bet he had a great time. Beautiful area. This is the intercoastal between uh, US-1 and A-1A. Friendly fishermen. These are just a really nice area just to come down and walk around and sit on the rocks and look at the water and boats and enjoy it all. Alright, we are going to head back over to our campsite and get our grill going for hamburgers tonight. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.